Hello, my good friends. It's Buck WSR Weezer. We've got a lawn tractor project today. We're working on a Craftsman YT4500. And our job today is to replace the ground drive belt, the transaxle belt. And I'm going to show you how to do that. First step that you're going to take is to remove the cutting deck. I've already done that. He's here off to the side. And uh, next we got to uh, get the tractor up in the air and there's a number of ways to do that. I think I'm going to support it on the front end on some jack stands so that I have some access to work from underneath. This tractor is, there's also a Husqvarna version of this tractor. You might have the same tractor and the same setup even under it different name but in our case it's the Craftsman YT 4500 now the part that we're going to need is listed for us Craftsman likes to put this under the under the hood which I actually really appreciate and you may not be able to see it too well but the ground drive belt is part number 130 nine six nine that's the ground drive belt so I'm gonna put it up in the air and then we'll get underneath and I'll show you how to do this all right so I've got the tractor almost vertical up in the air supported by this pipe to, to stand a tractor up on end like this is going to give you easy access to all the areas here, the electric PTO, all the way down to the transaxle. Get a friend to help you and be safe. Nobody needs a tractor falling on them. Actually, what would be, really be great if you had a chain or a strong rope and an overhead hoist. Um, but I think this is going to be okay for... I feel that's pretty sturdy right now. I've got the wheels chocked on both sides so then I took uh, oh you know the thing you're going to want to do is either drain the gas tank or put a plastic bag under the cap so it doesn't uh, all leak out on you when you put the tractor up like this I took my backpack blower and just went uh, and blew all the most of the debris out from under here that accumulates in the various spots so we'll have a cleaner uh, experience here today all right so the first thing I'm going to do well actually I'll show you what the problem is I told you this belt is wearing out this is the second time now that it has actually jumped off the pulley here on top of the transaxle and now it's kind of wedged itself down here in the uh, between the under the pulley between the pulley and the transaxle housing so that's why I say it's probably stretched out a little bit and time to replace this thing we get a convenient tractor drive belt schematic under the footrest on the tractor so that's pretty helpful to, to refer to as we're doing this I, I've already given you the number of the belt it's a 92 and a half inch by one half inch belt all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this electric pto so let's start by taking off the cable where it, where it plugs in put you up here on a tripod All right, so this coming up through the bottom is our connector for the PTO. And we'll just feed that through. We also have a couple of cable ties that we're gonna snip off. Right there. And then we're able to, then we're able to bring it out of the way. All right, so that's that. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take off this uh, this bolt here that holds the uh, PTO on. 
So let's see what size we're working with here. What is it, a 9 16th? First guess, this is a 5 8 And I'm going to see if I can get this off with the impact. They got a small impact here that might do it for us. Hopefully it won't be too stiff, too tight. There we go. So that bolt comes out. That wasn't so bad. And then this slides off. Boy, I'm glad that didn't fall off on its own or I would have dropped it on the ground. All right, so the PTO comes off and now we have much clearer access to the ground drive belt that goes around this pulley. This pulley's not frozen either, so it's pretty easy here to just restart removing this belt. Pulley comes down and the belt comes off. He doesn't want to stay on, no problem. And now we'll just work our way down and start pulling this belt out. Fishing around the pulleys. And now we come down to this section right here where it's wrapped around the uh, transaxle. Sort of caught in that pulley there. But actually, I don't need to even worry about it because this is the old belt. We can just go ahead and cut it! Wahaha! Okay. There's that. Now it comes right out. I love that. All right, my friends, so we did it. The uh, old belt is out. Okay, so we're gonna install the belt in reverse of the, taking the other one off. So starting down here at the transaxle end of the engine. We're gonna wrap this belt around that pulley. And over these retaining this retaining bracket. Through there. And of course we still have our uh, diagram to follow, which helps coming around this way. Then around this way. And we are Weaving it up through here, and we arrive back at the uh, place where we started. Now this belt does feel a little bit tighter now, so one way we can get one way we can get it uh, slack in the belt is to apply and set the parking brake. It's easier to do when you're sitting on it than when it's standing upright, but I think we're okay. All right, so now we're going to uh, hang on. I'm gonna have to set you down. Okay, I'm gonna release the parking brake and just let that hold it up there a little bit tighter with the tension of the belt. How's 
a good look. All right. Good, so we just double check that we have it routed correctly. We've got our diagram right there. Around the pulleys, around the transaxle, along that, and up. All right, that looks pretty good to me. I, uh, I think we can go ahead and put the PTO back on. So what we got to remember is this, this bar here co corresponds to this notch in the PTO right there. I'm okay. And of course it's got a groove, a notch here, the key way to line up. All right. And the bolt goes back on. We will not forget to tighten that up. We're going to fish our wires through it. We reconnect it up here. I will grab a couple of more zip ties because I want to make sure we uh, keep the cable tied in and out of the way like that. All right, we'll get our uh, impact and tighten down that and I think that's pretty much good to go. I'm just going to go get a couple of cable ties to finish this off here. All right. Okay, that's pretty good. And now we'll uh, we'll put it back on the ground, shall we? My able-bodied assistant will assist me in the, uh, here. Okay, pipe is coming out of the way. I'm ready to go down there. All right, thank you so much, assistant. You've done marvelously. Here's this guy. back on. Close enough. Okay, so uh, I got to put fuel back in it. Slide the deck under and connect the deck and this guy will be back in business. So now you know how to change the ground drive belt on your Craftsman YT4500 and similar tractors. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a great day. We'll see you all in the next video. How's that? That's good.